What is going on everybody? I hope you're all having an awesome day. And today, if you can't already tell by just what you're seeing on your screen right now, we have a little uh, different kind of video today. So today, I'm actually going to be talking about, as I'm sure you guys have seen, uh, one of the quality of life changes on this uh, March or spring update, I think they're calling it. So basically, <laughs> I don't want to you know speak too soon or anything, but in a nutshell, Supercell has just killed donation clans. So um, this is a something I'm very, very obviously passionate about. You know that I've been donating basically since the first donation clans came out, like when the far Farming Kings was doing it. Then there was, you know, the 200 Club, and then like a bunch of other clans started started doing it in the dark. I think was one of them as well. So I've been doing this for a very, very, very long time, and this is probably one of like the only things I enjoy still doing, at least in my main account, is is donating troops and leveling up. So to see an update like this, I always knew that something, you know, that was an idea, and maybe one day um, it would actually come to the game. But I never thought, like, you know, I just kind of pushed it to the back of my mind. But you can see here, yep, it it is now in this next update so um i'm scared i'm not gonna lie i'm scared it's definitely it's not gonna be impossible so for donation clans i know like um a good amount of people just join and they just request for troops like they don't really know or like understand the concept of a donation clan and that's when you're going to run into problems because a lot of the clan is going to be filled up with just just noobs you know like that people just don't really know like they just click on the, the clan castle when they're clanless and they just see the 200 club and they click on it and they and they join all of a sudden so so that's i feel like that's a good amount of the people that join these kinds of clans but uh at the same time i know a lot of people do come especially for the 200 club since we donate balloons and electro dragons it's one of the more attractive troops um and i feel like that's why a lot of our traffic um go, or a lot of donation traffic goes to the 200 club but um so besides those people who are expecting balloons and know they want balloons, if there's random people joining and they're just asking for, you know, like in a picture like this, like ice golems or something, or someone wants some wizards or or a baby dragon or something like that, like you're not gonna like you're not gonna get it. Like you're gonna I don't know if it depends on what happens, like if we change our rules and stuff and you can just kinda donate whatever people are requesting or whatnot, gem troops, but like we're gonna have to be kicking so many people, so um, I feel like this is it's definitely gonna slow things down in donation clans But uh, it won't entirely kill them because I know a decent amount of the people that come to request for troops know like what we do and the troops that we donate so um, They will set their You know clan castle accordingly, but um for clan hopping, which is actually what I've been doing um, The last few levels I think level 304 I finished uh, when I left the 200 club or like right about there. I'm now at 307, almost 308, and I've just been clan hopping. That I'm, I mean, I'm almost entirely convinced it's gonna be dead unless you stumble across a clan where someone actually wants like giants or whatever, or they just don't care what's in the clan castle. I'll get to that that little section in a moment. But um, clan hopping, I mean, going into like just a, a regular clan and finding people that want like you know packers or dragons for war or whatever like yeah it's kind of bogus to just randomly join and and fill up their clan castle with a bunch of crap troops but like i mean that's a way of playing that's a way you know donators donate you know so so i'm not too optimistic about that um like kind of type of donating i'm pretty sure that's going to be almost completely killed off unless you're just training a bunch of random things that normally people want like pekkas and, and stuff like that or like do gemming the troops that uh that people require so so yeah you can just see a couple of the screenshots here and um i'm pretty upset by this not gonna lie um i did email supercell support just for uh, like a little bit of clarity and uh i'm gonna go ahead and show the screenshots right now and then we're gonna go and talk about what their response was all right so here is the first screenshot of uh what they sent me so i basically just went over and i just said like hey like there's a huge community of people that that donate uh, and enjoy donating troops and this just kind of you know affects them as i asked him was like did, did you guys know about this before you implemented it like did you think that you know it really wasn't gonna bother anybody or like stuff like that so um i'll just i'll just highlight over what i said you can read it obviously 
Um, it just basically said the reason they decided to insert that feature is because there was complaints about um, donations in, in players with clan or people in clans that are donating um, like incorrect troops and stuff for like clan wars or um, things like that. And I think that's just like, I just think it's, in my opinion, at least obviously I'm biased, but it's just such a dumb reason to, you know, to to implement something like that drastic that can affect like an entire community of people and the way they play just because sometimes people donate incorrect troops. Like that's just, that's just what happens. Like it's always been like that. This game is pushing eight years old now and like it's just always been a thing. Like, so I really don't understand, um, you know, why they, they decided to, to do that. But, um, I mean, it's, like I said, it's not my choice. This is, I mean, this is how it is. And, um, so there is, thankfully, a little bit of a, um, what's it called? A plus side to this. Um, not, like, completely detrimental to, uh, donation clans and donating generals. Um, so you can see at the bottom here, it says, as I mentioned, this feature is optional and we can keep requesting troops without it just like before. So, uh, I'm gonna go and flash forward to the next screenshot really quick. So you can see here in this screenshot, um, I said just to clarify, you can set your clan castle so people can donate any kind of troop, and they said yes that you can. So um, obviously you can request for, you know, a certain type of troop and a certain level. I think the level is honestly ridiculous, but it's, I mean, like I said, it is what it is. So that is the feature and, and that's what's coming in this update, but you can also change it so people can just donate anything. So. I'm assuming a lot of people coming to the, like, you know, donation clans of the 200 club, they'll request, like, either for anything, or on the bright side, if, um, you want, like, let's say you go to the 200 club and you want balloons only, then you can set to, you know, balloons only, or like an electro dragon, and then, like, max level, and that'll prevent, like, you know, random noobs that join, or if the clan is dead, or something like that. Um, there's like no like staff online and then that prevents you know just random like low-level players from coming in that aren't staff and donation clans and, and donating troops because I know it's happened to me a couple times before too I'll stop by the 200 club while I'm donating um, troops on my main account just hopping around uh, trying to get some balloons for later when I do my uh, raids in Legends League and I'll get like a random noob and join and donate like goblins in my client castle or something like that so that could be a plus but um, this also raises the thing, a lot of people are going to want max troops, even even as a Town Hall 9 that in, uh, donating in the 200 club right now, there's a lot of people that complain about, um, you know, getting level 8 balloons, because if you're a Town Hall 9 and you have level 6 balloons, and then with the 2 plus bonus you get 8, so it's not a max troop. So um, this could eliminate a lot of lower level Town Halls, so I think that'd be Town Hall 10, at least for the 200 club, Town Hall 10 and up would be basically the cutoff. Um, in order to donate max troops um, with the bonus, so that's another problem that um, you know uh, donation donators can run into, especially lower level town hall donators. I know there's some really high level town hall eights. Clash with Dave is one. I think he's like level 310 or something. Uh, I think his name is Boss. He's like a level 320 something town hall eight. I, I know there's like one level 300 something town hall seven. So um, it's gonna it's gonna be hard. It's definitely gonna be a struggle. But, um, this is, I mean, this is the way things are. This is the way they decided to go about, and I don't agree with it. I'm extremely upset, but, um, you know, there's nothing we can do about it. So, um, we're just going to have to wait and see. I'll probably upload another video when the update actually drops and I get to see, you know, how much of an effect it has on it, um, when it's actually implemented into the game. But, yeah, guys, I mean, this is, it's a, it's a dark time for, for donation clans, so... We're just going to see, you know, how it, how it goes. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned a thing or two. And um, comment down below what you guys think about these changes. Because uh, if you couldn't tell already, like, I am not happy. <laughs> so, yep, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care and bye for now.